Welcome back, everybody. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, it just showed that my mobile wash jet is destroyed. Uh, so, yeah, welcome back to Gold Rush. This is our first uh, repair that we're going to have to do. So, uh, what do we got here? 8%, yeah. So, let's dump this dirt into here. We might as well fill this up uh, all the way. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. Um, the first thing you might notice is that I am now in the big excavator. After I left you guys in the last episode, I remembered that I could actually rent these. And so I went ahead and rented this instead of outright buying it because I thought it made more sense for me to do that at this point in time. And uh, this thing is awesome, man. It, it basically does has double the capacity um, of the uh, as the smaller excavator. Uh, so yeah, this thing is, is amazing. Uh, it cost me about um, okay, yeah, we got we're full there. It cost me about um, twenty five hundred or so uh, bucks a day to rent it, but you know, for the money that we're we're making and the fact that it almost doubles my production time, well, at least the production time on the backhoe, uh, I, I think it's worth it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this off. And yeah, so this jet up here seems to be something wrong with it. If we look at it, it looks like it is indeed cracked. So um, I had to look up on DigTube or uh, how to do all this stuff. And uh, so if you go into the DigTube and you go here and you want to find in this particular case mobile wash jet, mobile wash plant jet. Uh, and also, we're on spare, the spare parts um, category, too, by the way. Um, and then if you click this, it shows how to... There we go. shows how to repair it. So basically, what we need is a pipe wrench, and we undo the collar there that keeps it in place. And then pull it off, put the new one on, and then screw it back in place. So we're going to have to run into town and buy ourselves one of these to affect this repair. And uh, the other thing I noticed, uh, too, is that if you press Z, you got a bunch of tools, right? So you got like an impact driver, a screwdriver, a crowbar, a pipe wrench, and a hammer. And if you pull the hammer out um, and then uh, click on this, it inspects it and, and it tells you, well, in this case, what the durability is, it's equal zeros because it's completely cracked. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring out our pipe wrench, which is the seven key. And we're going to unscrew the collar just like it showed us in the video. And then we're going to run into town and get a, a new part for this. And we're also going to, uh, we need to get some fuel. And we might go ahead and sell the gold that we currently have. Actually, I should probably go ahead and process what we have left too. So, yeah, let's see. We'll check the prices. I checked it last night before I, I went to bed, and it was 11-something. Let's throw that in there. Let's see what it is today. Oh, nice. It's it's actually up to 12.02. So, yeah, this, this would be a good time for us to sell. Um, now, the other thing is I can't – I haven't been able to determine if this dude that I hired is, is doing anything. Um I, I was watching, you know, my gold to see if, if, if it went up a little bit because I think that's how you can tell. And I, I didn't see it move at all um, during this last uh, day. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, too, by the way. So I worked a full day and got 61.101 ounces plus whatever we're going to process out of the bucket now, which is it's almost full. It's 88 percent. So let's grab that. But since the price is over 1200, um, I'd like to take advantage of that right now. And get that uh, taken care of. So let's process the rest of this. We're up to 18% magnetite now. So that's slowly building itself up. And then, uh, we'll yeah, we'll do this last thing of gold. We'll run into town. Uh, we got to get fuel. We've got to get a new jet. And let's also see who else is... Um, if there's more people that we can hire. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so that gets us up to 66.4 ounces. Um, let's grab this fuel tank and 
refuel you. Okay, you're already at 100%. Uh, we're going to turn you off. And let's for not forget to replace these buckets. Okay. So we'll grab this tank. We'll make sure our water pump is also uh, completely full. And then we'll run into town, refill these tanks, get our, our new spare part, and, uh, and sell our gold. Turn that off. It looks like there's just a tiny bit in this can, so let's do that, and then we'll top it off with this one. That way we don't have to take the pump and the generator into town with us. Okay, so we'll throw this in the back of the truck, and this one too. Oh yeah, we should make a nice little chunk of change today, especially if we can sell it, you know, 1200 ish an ounce here. Okay, I'll see you guys. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the blacksmith shop and smelt all my gold into bars, and then I'll meet you at the bank for the actual sale. All right, guys, we are back and uh, at the bank here. Let's go ahead and pull on in here. Uh, I just noticed I can zoom in and out a little bit with the mouse button, too, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's turn the engine off. So we have three full bars, meaning 18-ounce um, bars there, and then one little six, out, six and some odd ounce bar there. So let's check the price again. Hopefully it's still at least at 12. It is. Okay, 12.0145. Beautiful. Um, so we are going to sell all of our gold bars. We're currently at 75000 and change. Let's sell all of these and see how rich we can get. Guess that bar was 5.8 ounces. All right, that gets us up to 147,000. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so um, I think what we're going to do now is uh, we got to get this part. Yeah, we got to get this part, and we also need to get uh, some fuel. So let's do that next. grab that and you and fill you all the way up now we could certainly afford a a mobile uh, a mobile fuel tank now but I mean with with two full jerry cans and everything and, and you know the the pump and the generator filled up I can I can mine for an entire day so I, I think we'll hold off just a little bit longer before we get the fuel pump be, you know, it's not something that we absolutely need to have at the moment, but we will definitely be getting it. Okay, so that takes care of our gas. Now, let's head back, uh, or over rather, to the warehouse so that we can get this replacement part that we need. So that's the next thing on the list. And we're actually going to pull in this way this time. Okay, so um, this is a part, so I'm sure we're going to need to go into the spare parts area. Those, uh, That's wavetable jets, reinforced wavetable jets. Okay, what do we got here? We got reinforced rotator hydraulic. Oh, we got pickup truck wheels. Cool. Trailer wheels. Pickup truck wheels. Okay. Um... Let's see, where else would we find a Glacier Creek engine? Nice. That's like the one they're using on the, on the show. Uh, by the way, if you guys are curious, I am watching um, uh, Gold Rush on Discovery. And I'm on like episode 9 of season 1 so far. So yeah, really been enjoying that. Oh, here we go. Um, this is a reinforced mobile wash plant jet for two thousand dollars this is just uh for two normal one for two yeah let's just get the normal one <laughs> um 
You know, let's. Why don't we buy two? Should we buy two of these? Nah, let's just buy one for now. And I don't think we need anything else from here that I can think of off the top of my head. Gold Nuggetator belt. There's some batteries. Cool. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think that's all we need to get from here. So let's order that part. And go out to the staging area and load it up in the back of the truck. Um, do we give him back the old part? Is there like a, a recycle option? Or do we just put it in the dumpster? Okay, we're just going to put it in the dumpster. Because <laughs> it's not doing us any good. It is done broke. Okay, we'll put this in the back of the truck here. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, let's run over to the to the parts or not the parts place, the heavy machinery yard for just a second. I want to look at something there. So this place is just right over here behind the cop shop. All right, so my small excavator should be in storage. Yes, it is. Okay. So what I'm thinking is when we get the option to hire somebody that can run an excavator, we move this back to our place. Now, we're going to have to upgrade it first. So we have to pay some money to upgrade it so we can have more equipment on there, which we can do from either the bank or the tablet. And then I'll move the small excavator back over there, and we can assign a worker to work the small excavator while I'm working the large one. Uh, incidentally, if you uh, didn't already know this, this is uh, how you, uh, this is how much it costs to rent the big excavator. So twenty five hundred eighty three dollars a day, but I mean, considering the fact that it doubles our production on uh, on the excavator, I, I think it's definitely worth it, and we can certainly afford it. You know, with um. The money we have now I'm the tutorial will eventually have us buy this and so I'm just going to keep renting for now until the tutorial actually has us buy one um all right I think that's all we need for now so yeah let's head back and get that uh, wash mobile wash unit jet thingamadoodle repaired okay we are back at the ranch here Back at the claim. I'll just park the pickup truck right here, as good of a place as any. And we'll grab our part out of here. And then we stick it up here. Pull out our pipe wrench and screw it back in place. Oh, this is fun, man. I really enjoy this. This game is, a, is there's a, I don't know. It's just, it's very immersive, um, you know, that, that we have parts and stuff that we can repair. And uh, if you, you know, if you like, if you like gold and like making money, this game is fun. I am really enjoying it more than I thought I was going to, uh, to be honest with you. So, all right, you guys. Well, we are sitting at $147,000 so far in change. Um, and so it's time to get back to mining. So I'm going to cut the camera here and uh, get back to mining. And I will bring you guys back at some point in the near future with an update on how we are doing. So I'll see you in a while. Uh, Houston, we have a bit of a problem here. Uh, the crick's drying up. So I was uh, mining, and I got a message saying that the crick's dried up. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire this worthless dude that still has not given me any money whatsoever, as far as I can tell. So he is now fired. And yeah, there we go. Okay, because he can't work the crick anyways. There's no water. So I think what we're going to have to do is my... It feels like my mouse... Uh, Wait, wait, no. Don't mess. Keep new settings. No. 
back. Do you want to discard changes and exit? Yes. Yeah. Uh, controls. No, my mouse sensitivity is still torn on the way down. This uh, it, That is as far down as I can uh, put it, and it's still it's still a bit squirrely, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, okay, so yeah, what do we do about this problem? Let's open up our journal, and let's see if water. Let's look at water. All right, so big diesel water pump. It's easier to start your tier three journey with the big diesel water pump as it's a bit cheaper and and duh, and don't requires <laughs> the big generator to run it. Uh, you will be able to provide water to all required machinery. The only thing you need to take care of is to have enough water on your claim for the pump. It can be a river, a lake, or the water tower in the more harsh conditions. Um, big pumps are using the huge water hose, so make sure you use proper splitter to water up mining machines. Okay. And this is the big electric water pump, which means you need to run it off of a generator instead. Big water tower. When your river or whatever water source you have nearby will dry up or freeze, it's important to have some water stored in one of the finite tanks. The biggest one in the game is the big water tower. It can store enough water to let you work for a longer while, but it will eventually become empty. Then you have two ways of filling it up. If it's possible, you can pump the water from a river. If not, you can order some water from the supply service. It will arrive instantly. 150,000? Woo! Mobile water tank. Okay. When the water sources dry up or become frozen, you have to water up your machinery in a non-conventional way. There are two finite containers you can buy. This time, let's talk about the smaller and cheaper one, the mobile water tank. It's built in water pump won't allow you won't allow you grant enough pressure for the highest tier wash plants, but it's very good as a pack with the mobile wash plant. You can easily move them around the claim without creating a mess with hoses. That's not a bad idea, actually. It looks like that's probably an option. Um, small electric water pump, diesel water pump. Okay. Oh, here's some information about workers. Let's read this. Um, that's that's the part of workers tab that is important. When you want to find some new workers, there are a new job application every few days, so choose wisely. Don't reject someone if you think you may need him in the future. You can find there all information about your possible companions. They really need to do some <laughs> QC work on the text on this. Um, their requested salary percentage of their skill efficiency can be upgraded later. Their upgrade level and the specialization they choose. Think twice before rejecting anyone. <laughs> Each assigned worker's gain gains a percentage of performance every single day of work. When he reaches the limit for the current specialization level, you have to upgrade him to the higher level to let him learn more. With each level, he will get some addition per, additional perks that will let help you on the claim. My goodness. Yeah, this, this uh, grammar is terrible. <laughs> okay, so that percentage is a skill efficiency. Um, and I, I'm sure at the end of the day, that's going to translate into more money. I mean, yeah. So, okay. Uh, hired workers. On the hire tab, you can find a list of all workers that work for you. Right above their picture, you can notice their state. It tells you everything you need to know about what's going on with your people. If you want to assign someone to a machine, then just choose the proper machine. That is equal to the worker specialization and choose assign. If the list is empty, you will have no machinery that fits the worker's specialization. Each specialization has its own cost. Once the workers reach the highest level of specialization, third, you can retrain them into other specializations. Oh, that's cool. Uh, don't forget that retrain can vastly change the salary of a worker. <laughs> okay. Worker specializations. Each worker has one random specialization from the pool of the specialization. It's very important at the moment of hiring the chosen worker. You need to make sure that you have the machinery that the worker can use. It's mandatory to assign people only to machinery that they can use. Okay, well, that answers that question. If you get an application from someone with high skill specialization, you don't need right now. Just leave him in your roster. So I can, like, put him on hold, huh? That's not very realistic, but it's good to know. If you upgrade one to the third level, you can retrain the specialization to another one chosen by yourself. Worker stats. Salary. Each worker has a fixed salary that they will be paid at the end of each day. Efficiency, 17%. Each worker has an efficiency in percent. The higher the efficiency, the more this worker will be paid and the better the perks will be. Main skill, hog pan container. Each worker will be specific to one piece of equipment or vehicle. There is also a mechanic. 
level. Each worker has three skill levels. You need to upgrade your worker to access the next level. Retrain. Once you've retrained your worker to level three, you can then opt to retrain the worker for a fee. The new main skill will be random. Each worker has three levels of specialization. Each level brings some new perks to the worker's efficiency. If you ever want to upgrade the worker, then you just select him on the hired tab and choose upgrade. It costs money. These require you can retrain your worker for a specific special. Okay, so none of that gave me information, though, about why I had assigned that guy and he wasn't uh, and he wasn't making any money. And keep in mind, I assigned him two days ago before before the crick dried up. I mean, the crick just now dried up, right, when I brought you guys back. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. I mean, we've got a hog pan here. It's all set up. Uh, but he, as far as I can tell, he was not bringing me in any money, but I was paying him every day, the bastard. <laughs> so, okay, well, uh, so I think our options are water tank or, um, or we need to get a mobile tank. I'm, I'm not, sh I don't know where we're going to fill it up at though. Maybe there's a, oh, we probably fill it up at the place in town. Now, if I look on the map here at the old Arnold parcel. It does seem to indicate that there's a water tank right here, uh, just north of our pickup truck. They're not talking about this thing, are they? Because that's not working. Oh, I hear machinery. Oh, I can't go. I can't go any further than this. I think this is the water tank they're talking about, but it's, uh, oh, this is highlighted use. So are you telling me there's water in here, even though it's tipped over? There's like an invisible wall. I can't go any further than that. <laughs> Repair the water tower. Oh my goodness. That is like way too much money for me to be spending right now. In fact, I don't even have that much money right now. All right, well, at least we know we can repair it when the time comes. So I think um, I think what we need to do is go to sleep. Um, and in the morning, if the if the price is, is $1,200 or more, we'll, we'll cash in the gold that we currently have, and then we need to get ourselves a, a mobile water tank. All right, so let's go to sleep. The water source is filled up and the water is flowing again. Oh, it is? Wait, what? See, we still paid that son of a bee. <laughs> I not made any money off of him. That's that's crap, man. What the heck? Okay. So. All right. I guess as we use the water, it starts to deplete, right? So let's let's take advantage of that until it happens again, I guess. And then next time we go into... Well, let's look at the price of gold. Actually, if the price of gold's high, we're, we'll go into town now and cash out what we currently have. Nah, it's it's below 1200 Okay, so... Um, is there anybody here awaiting? No, I think it'll alert me if there's somebody waiting. Anyway, so, okay, well, uh, back and leave. Well, the water's back. Um, I, uh, you know, it is summertime too, by the way. So my guess is we'll probably be able to mine for a little what, little bit of time today, and then it'll deplete again. And when that happens, then we're going to run into town and we're going to get that, that mobile water tank. But since it's back for now, uh, we'll continue to use it. And guys, I think that's it for this episode too. So I'm going to let you go here. And I'm like I said, I'm just going to keep mining until the water runs out again. When it runs out again and we have to go into town to get a new water tank, we'll probably start the next episode at that point in time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.